Okay, you guys, finally. Okay, sis was right on time because I was like, girl, she don't post today. She was lying. Okay, so we're going to um watch the video of her posting. Kind of like, she said that she's going to like explain why like she left AZ early because like, you know, something happened. I guess she wasn't planning to leave that early, but she had to go. So we will see if she spills any like actual tea or what's, what happened, like what went on. So I haven't watched it yet. So we're going to kind of like watch it together. Kind of, you know, it's hard because like I only got this little little tiny phones so like you know the quality not not amazing but you know i do what i can okay so i'm gonna watch it here um i'm gonna just cut out the parts that aren't important or that aren't like relevant because you know i don't want it to be hella long for no reason i'm sure y'all have already watched it too but it's like we're watching it together you know it's just hard because i don't have that like question. split screen shit I'm gonna be totally honest about everything that happened, you guys. Um, I probably won't say too much detail about the night that it happened that I left, but everything in between, I'm gonna be open and honest about. Why it. not? Literally, why not say what happened that night? That's what we want to know. Like, say it. Okay, but she says she's gonna be open, and honest about most things. So, so I had to change the lighting so that you guys could see the screen better. Like, I don't know, you guys. I gotta get like a computer or something. There's something to make this work better. But for now, we gotta do this the sound is sounding like okay i'm just testing them out i got them off the tiktok shop honestly not that long ago so i'm kind of just trying them out see if they make the sound better if not like the mics i feel like you have to speak directly into them for them to sound good i have them too not from the tiktok shop though but just like in general and i just feel like you have to really like speak into them otherwise you may as well just like not use them but whatever i'll probably never use them again so yeah now let me know what you think of the quality of the sound i guess mm. and also don't mind the the mess in the back i came home to a bunch of mail and packages so there's just like boxes sitting around all right so as you guys know i went to arizona to be by fly side um with everything that happened he ended up you know i'm not gonna get too much into it because you guys already know what happened to him but we know basically um he had gotten jaw surgery or jaw he got his mouth wired shut because he had a fractured jaw um and there's a couple other things but like that was like the main thing and i drove almost technically it was it took like 12 hours to get there it was a 10 hour drive but it took 12 because i made like some stops but yeah i had drove all the way to arizona mm. to go visit him in the hospital um as a friend that's crazy y'all i i'm saying that is ride or die so that many hours is is crazy okay let's get that straight i we were friends before i even went there like i said before we would like call each other um make sure we were good because we were always going out so it was like okay like hey did you make home safe whatever right cool so we were friends my intentions i feel her though going out to arizona were not to men things are making or um what's it called like fix things not fix our relationship i believe her you know um nothing like that my intentions were pure and but i also do like she wanted him to know she still cares about him though like you know i still care and like you know just we'll just you know, see just being there as a friend i talked about this on live a little bit but basically i just did what i would want someone to do for me like that's just the type of person i am like i give out a like I always treat people the way that I wish I was treated when it comes to, like, stuff like this. She's so, so like, sweet, honestly. What I mean is, so the fact that, um, the last time I talked about this, I cried. I'm trying to, I'm not trying not to because I just did my makeup, so. Girl, what happened? Basically, like, I give out so much love, like, I think because of the fact that I wish I got it in return. Um, which never really works out for me, to be honest. But, I mean, it's not ever... This situation or any situation in general is never going to change who I am. As a person, I'm always going to be loving. I'm always going to, you know, care for people that I care for. Like, I'm always going to care about them, you know, no matter what. So, it's like, I don't know. That's just the type of person I am. And it I, it does mess me up at the end of the day. Like, Or it, I kind of get... What's the word? I guess what I'm trying to say, like, I always fuck myself over at the end, you know? It's so. true, it's true. Literally, the nice ones, we finish last. <laughs> if it's the wrong person, they're gonna find a nice person and take advantage of them. But if it's the right person, they're gonna also re reciprocate. 
Did I say that right? <laughs> Don't take me serious. But, um, yeah, then they're gonna, like, you know, give back the niceness. Don't take me serious, y'all. I can't with myself. Um, let's start from the very beginning. Um, I, I don't know. This story's kind of all over the place. Okay, so basically, um, the first two days... <sighs> so basically, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. The first day or two, when I was with him, we're fine. You know, we were friends. I'd hope so. Two really days. Fine, like normal, like I mean, nothing. Oh, what happened? Not my connection. Not me being exposed. Pff, hold on, let me fix it. What the fuck? Chaos fixed. Oh, my bad. We weren't together. Oh. Okay, so let's get finally you know, get into we were it. Friends. It felt everything felt fine, like normal, like just nothing crazy. Like we weren't being toxic. Clearly, we weren't together. All that. Um. After, like, the third or fourth day, I'm yeah. not going to lie to you, I did start getting bugged a little bit by him being on his phone, only because, first of all, we're exes, and I thought I was stronger than that, but I, I didn't do anything crazy. I did just let him know, like, hey, like, I'm not going to lie, it does bug me that, like, you're on your phone, and, like, I'm over here, like, down, like, who's he texting? Like, I did tell him straight up, because I'm, I'm an open book. Like, I will tell you how I feel. Girl. I'll communicate with you. Um, and if you, and if you don't want to respect how I feel, then that's fine. I mean, I could, like, I could understand how it's annoying. If we're broken up, and then you come see me, it's like, nobody asked you to come. Like, that's the one thing. Nobody asked you to come, and, like, Fly did not want to be back together anyway. So then you're coming in his space to do a nice thing, and then you're like, well, why are you on your phone? It is giving crazy a little... To that is a little toxic, but... I'm whatever. in no position to tell somebody what to do, especially if I'm not with them. Yeah. So... You really I'll, can't. I just let it be known. Okay. And it did feel kind of weird saying that. Like, letting him know, like, hey, like, it kind of bugs me that, like... I didn't. I don't know if he was texting or he was just on his That's phone. because, honestly, Maria still wants him to care. Like, she still wants it to, like, work. Let's be for real. Like, she still wanted to work. Because, like, why do you care if he's on his phone texting other... You want it to work. You came all the way down there. You came all the way down there. You wanted to work. Like, let's not lie about that. Because, obviously, you wouldn't really even care if he's on his phone texting other girls. Like, he could have another, like, girl there. You shouldn't even care. Be like, okay, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it just... You shouldn't have even went back. I'm gonna be so honest. When it was done, you should have just left should have just left it like not go back because exactly like you want someone to care and be like oh my gosh thank you so much for coming and honestly this type of person like doesn't really give a fuck he, he'll be the type to be like well i never even asked you to come so i don't know why you were trying to tell me what to do i didn't even ask you to be here probably like is what i'm gonna say but i forgot what it was but just saying like it just started kind of like from there and um i felt like you know he kind of got the message like okay like let me um like i don't know he Someone started respecting, like, how I felt, I guess, even though he didn't have to, but pretty much, um, it started there, and then just little things like that, um, it did start to feel like we were in a relationship again, I'm not even gonna lie to you, we acted like we were in a relationship, we were doing things like we were in a relationship, yeah. we were sleeping together, literally, in the same bed waking up in the same bed it just started feeling like we were in a whole relationship all over i mean that's what happens when you go there and you're overstaying too like honestly i think she overstayed like she she should it is a long trip but like yeah obviously you're gonna be there for a minute like it's not gonna just be friends living together like ah, it's, yeah like hello girl like i could have told you that would have happened before you even went there like hello and, and i'm not gonna lie i was in this like fantasy Type world where I just feel like everything was perfect like I loved people knowing that we were just technically not together but it kind of felt like fun in a way like like people knew like I don't know it I can't wait for the tea to an extent where it was just like oh like we have to keep it a secret but like I know we're doing like the wrong thing type of thing we all knew girl know, you were not you were not keeping no secret girl she thought that <laughs> she thought that we didn't know like oh they were so low-key bro you were not low key. Like everybody knew. We're like, okay, like they're gonna get back together. Like if she stays longer, they're gonna get back together. But y'all just had a fight. <laughs> like y'all just had another fight. That's what's funny. She thinks she was she got one on us. Like, bro, you were not sneaky. And it's just the way I am. I don't know, y'all. You y'all can't hate me for telling y'all the truth. I don't know why I'm like that. I'm just like that and it just is what it is. So yeah. Like, clearly, we were, like, doing things, like, it was kind of obvious. Um, we weren't really hiding it. 
I mean, we were, but at the same time, we were telling you guys the truth. We were like, no, we're single. Like, we're still not together. You know, we were still damn near starting to stress each other out again. We were like, I told him one time, I think, and he told me one time, like, like damn, like, I'm starting to re- remember why I wasn't with you or why we broke up or whatever. Yeah, right? that's always what's going to happen. there's just little things about both of us that we don't like about each other. And, you know, there was just a lot, so... It just it just started, felt like we were in a relationship again. Um, I did start telling him like I think I need to leave sooner because as much as I wanted to stay the whole entire time, um, up until he got his wires out, I was supposed to take stay two days after that. Um, I was actually supposed to stay, stay till Wednesday tomorrow because today I'm gonna post it, so it's Tuesday. But um, yeah, uh, I was telling him that honestly, like I don't think this is good for my mental health. Like, I'm starting to get attached again. Like, I'm starting to feel it, it's like, hard. you know, we're in a relationship again. And, and yeah. then I feel like that's normal for anybody. Yeah. You know, like, if you're spending every waking second till you go to sleep with somebody at the hip, you're going to get attached too. So, you know, he was saying the same thing. He's like, yeah, I did get attached again. And we, we both felt the same, but we both knew it was no good for us. But, you know, I told him, you know, that... I think I need to leave sooner. I don't think I can stay for you to get your wires out because as soon as I leave, I'll feel okay. Like, I'll feel better. I think the fact that I was just there knowing that we were technically not not together and knowing that he could still technically be texting anybody he wanted. um, That would drive me insane. Made me feel like, damn, well, I don't need a beer. Like, why don't you text your other bitches and tell them to come help you? I'm dead. That's crazy. If he was really, like, I mean, that's just sad. Like, you know what I mean? That's the type of guy he is. If he's really doing that, like, he, you know, you have a girl that drove all the way down there 12 hours to see you. And you're texting girls, like, that didn't even bother showing. Dry. That's what I'm saying. The problem with men is, like, they will give the bitches attention that don't do shit for them. But the ones that really are the ride or die ones for you, like, they will neglect you, you know? Like, it just doesn't make any sense tell them to be here for you because i don't see none of them here that's how i started exactly and i was like you know what i don't need this like i have my own car i can live whenever i want now we're not in a relationship i started thinking like that and like feeling like kind of just overwhelmed and i started thinking like why am i here i feel like i'm overstaying like and i would tell him that he's like no like i want you here like it's fine like i i want you here and i oh my gosh what is started like feeling like i was just doing too much being there because but technically, she was, he didn't really need the help, but I guess, if anything, like, I think meant for, like, mental support, I think I was helping, in a sense, and then I was supposed to be there for, like, the wire cutting and everything, because it was kind of, like, a big deal, you know, like, you're getting wires removed, you're getting screws out of your mouth, like, I did want to be there for that, but I also did have to choose me at some point, and if I was feeling overstimulated and stressed out, I knew I had to leave but I did tell him I wanted to leave sooner, and you know, I I changed my mind. I definitely changed my mind. Um, but then one night, Ooh. Saturday night, the day I left, I did drink a little bit. I had an IPA, and I had a little shot of Patron. Within it's a always the alcohol, man. Span. Okay, I was on live for at least like a good three, four hours. Oh, it's always gonna bring out the true feelings. I'm telling you. A four-hour time span. Okay, I was on live for at least like a three, four hours. Um, so I was sipping slowly. I was chilling. We were chilling. We were alive. And I got triggered by something. I got triggered by something that happened. It wasn't just out of nowhere. I'm not going to get into too much de- detail about what I got triggered by. But I just knew that I felt disrespected. And, um, and you know, that's valid for me to feel, especially if I'm literally in somebody's house and, like, staying with them and just you know the way we were doing things it just felt like okay like i feel like you should respect how i feel which he did i did i ended up telling him what i felt disrespected by i told him you know what i don't want you doing this whatever cool um and he doesn't have to you know what i'm saying we're single like it's fine but yeah that's that's the thing um, like if if the thing is you really can't and you don't have no place to say nothing when you're single like when a man is like you're single and you're like okay and you agree like is single then what you choose to do after that like if you choose to still see him and whatever he does like he's a single man like that's the thing why you have to have it in like set in stone like 
relationship or single like what's the title on it so that we know if there's oversteps if you're single he can't overstep like you're not together like he there's no way he can do something wrong like you're really not together and out of respect like he could not but you know at the end of the day y'all are not together though that's the thing that's why girls are a little bit more delusional i'd say in this sense because we'd expect like you to like just be with just us like i mean that's kind of asking too much when you're single yeah, I, I don't like that you're doing something, whatever he was doing. And he stopped, sort of. And I just couldn't stop thinking sort about of. it. I'm, I'm an overthinker to the max. So especially if I'm drinking a little bit, I start, like, focusing on that problem. And I won't get over it until I, like, hear some type of apology. Like, I'm just a little stubborn like that. I just need them to, like, kind of fix it in a way. Like, it's weird. I'm so weird. But basically... He didn't owe me anything. He didn't owe me nothing, but I just felt annoyed. I felt triggered, and I just felt like I needed to leave because I was like, you know what? You can continue doing that. Who am I? Who am I to tell you? The the thing is, like, she's so right. Like, who is she to tell him, like, not to do that honestly just leave girl and she honestly did the best like thing like you know she 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 just just shouldn't have even have went but like you know what she showed him that she cares and i mean that's like he's gonna probably regret that in the end like when she really doesn't come back this time like i just need maria to really not go back this time so that fly really realized okay he she's really not coming back and i lost a good girl that actually did drive all the way and like even on her last attempt you couldn't just hold it down and not talk to other girls for a second like a few days bro till you got your wires you know what i mean like she don't deserve that that's what i'm saying like she shouldn't go back to stop you from being single and from starting to start like start starting to feel like I need to control you because I I hate feeling like that I hate feeling like I'm controlling I hate feeling like I'm overstepping so that's why I had to remove myself out of that situation because I'm like you know what the longer I stay the more I'm just gonna fuck myself over and I told him that multiple times so it was just gonna be way too hard and this is gonna sound so bad but um an ad right there is so foul. Hold on, I won't make y'all watch it, but that's okay, crazy. Let's get on with it. Like, I had to leave on an angry note, on a bad note. Oh, I feel like if I would have left and we were all happy and everything was good, I would have probably never wanted to leave, which I did tell him. And he might he might try to say this, but I did. I did. Th- these words came out of my mouth in a certain situation. Um, I was talking about, oh, yeah, I never want to leave. But it's because, like, we were happy in the moment. And, like, you know, we were, like... <laughs> so, obviously, you're going to say stuff like that. And it does. And I did actually, like, in the back of my mind, of course, I would have wanted to stay for the rest of my life or forever, like, just with him. Because things That's were crazy. going so well for the most part. But it's, like, realistically, I have to snap out of shit like that. Because I'd be, like, in La La Land, just, like, kind of, like, though. blocking everybody out when I'm, like, with somebody that I'm, like, actually enjoying being with. So, like, I have to snap back into reality and be like, wait, hold the fuck up. Like, is this really what I want for the rest of my life? No. Okay? So, that's what it was. Um, you know, I can't tell you what the future holds, but as of right now, we are both single. Um, we left off on bad terms. We left off. Um, I blocked him on everything. I didn't want to see him. I didn't want to talk to him. I Damn. was super mad. So yeah, I was super irritated, you know, Tell I get into these tea. moods where I'm like very, very, very impulsive and nothing you say or do will make me want to change my mind about how I feel. So I'm very strong about how I feel and if I feel a certain way about something and I feel like you disrespected me and you didn't, you didn't respect how I felt in that moment, then you I'm, didn't. Just gonna, I'm gonna remove myself, you I don't care, like I Good. want my feelings validated Good. and if I don't feel like they're being validate, validated or if I don't feel like you need to, I'm gonna separate myself because yeah. why am I gonna stay there arguing with somebody when I feel like that'd be fucked up? So, you know, it, it just is it, it was like that and to be honest, that's just what it was. And we like like I said, we left on bad terms, um, blocked him on everything and you know, I didn't hear from him at all. That's basically what happened. I wish I could go into more detail about the situation that led up to me. Do it then. But it's if it's really a done personal so <laughs> yeah but mm. that's that and um yeah i'm 
just updating you guys because I've been getting a lot of questions every time I go live on TikTok. And I yeah, because you left drastically. About it, but now I have a whole video that you guys can watch and kind of answer all your questions. So basically, I'm just bipolar as fuck and toxic. And that's just, and y'all been knew that. So what do you really expect? But um, felt. Yeah, I think I said everything I need to just say. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Follow me on Instagram at Maria Latina X. Follow me on Snapchat at Maria okay. Latina. Hey you guys, so now that the video is over, I'm just gonna put my opinions onto it. So I don't know it's hard because it's like you know she had no right to like kind of come into this space and then be like okay don't talk to any girls or anything like this and that whatever like you really can't tell him what to do but the fact that he doesn't even want to like not talk to girls or change just the fact that like you came all the way over there and he's just still on the same type of time like tells you all you need to know about him and that he's just not the one and now you can really for real move off him and be done but let's be honest like maria wanted to work out like that's why she drove all the way over there we knew she didn't want to be done and then and when she was there she was like i just want to stay here forever like we know you're not over it girl and that you want to work out but this guy just will not change he won't change for you no matter what you do and that's it so i'm you know it's good that he showed his true colors again or else maria would still be there like we suspected like we called it so it's a good thing like you know he just he couldn't even he couldn't even fake it for a week y'all flywood couldn't even fake it you know couldn't even fake it so that that tells a lot so it's good that it's done yeah, y'all, I totally feel her on having to end it on bad terms or else not being able to add, end it because it's like, why are we ending if it's not on bad terms? Hence why, like, hence why I'm at my mom's house right now, y'all. Like, I'm back at my mom's, if y'all haven't noticed. Um, me and my boyfriend are kind of, like, actually, we are broken up right now. Like, we are broken up. Like, we're broken up, I would say. <laughs> it's like i think i think my relationship is toxic and by think i mean like it is because why are we going to the movies on the fourth <laughs> like y'all i don't know some things in there right now but like yeah like i totally get her like because we we're not on bad terms we're not on bad terms but i do believe the relationship is toxic and we're, why are we going to the movies together because we planned to see the joker movie like a year ago and and you know we're not it's only it's a week away and then he's like he crashed out on his snapchat story the other day y'all because i went out and like it was literally i only went out for like a few hours like not even the whole night not even like a weekend and it was like oh i'm out until two in the morning no i went from like 9 30 to like 11 30 and it was back home like nothing and he crashed on his story and then apparently he deleted it and he was like only five people saw it and you were one of them and you screenshot it yeah i screenshot that shit because now i'm gonna have to like i feel like i have to address it like it's getting messy you know i and then that's when i texted him i'm like what are you being messy for and then he's like i'm not blah 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 and i'm like what you mean you posted it and then like it, like we talked and then he deleted it all and he's like only five bro like you know i thought it could just be chill it could be cool go our separate ways and then we ended up talking until like five in the morning and then i was like okay i'm like i'm falling asleep like good night and then the next day he's like well like you want to go kayaking like after he crashed out on his story and then obviously he's like the joker movie is like coming out in three days and i'm like yeah and then i was like we're gonna go see it so like yeah it's kind of toxic now but we're 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 i'm we're done so i feel maria in this situation <laughs> like you gotta end it on bad terms like i don't even know what to do because it's like you want it to work like if he would just get it together it could work but it's like it's toxic there was no cheating like i mean like i don't think he cheated i didn't cheat and we're still hanging out in like on the third guys we're going on the third so i'll keep you updated if you care of what's going on in my life but that's why i'm here right now and it is toxic like i don't just don't even think i should go back like i just don't think it should work out because like i think we trigger each other and i'm gonna make a separate video maybe like kind of addressing like it like if, it, if we're really officially done like yeah i'm gonna make a video um yeah i'm gonna try and keep my relationship stuff on in separate videos but yeah y'all like i don't know it's just like i think we just trigger each other 
maybe like I'll have to tell the whole story for it to like even for us to make sense. But there's no cheating. But like after we technically broken up yesterday, he was like, "Just tell me if you cheated." Like I didn't cheat, bro. Like I, there was no cheating. So like what the fuck? He's like, you know, it's like oh, well, we're done now. Like you can tell me. Like what? No, but he che- I'm not a cheater like that. It's just the fact that like in my past relationship, like he was the get back like and I really fucked up because I didn't think like this one was actually gonna be like serious he was the get back for my relationship so obviously he feels like I'm a cheater because he saw me cheat but that's because my ex cheated on me like it's not because I'm a cheater I was a get backer and now I'm past that shit like that's my first time getting cheated on so like I didn't know how to move now if I got cheated on I would literally just move on and be like bye like okay like I wouldn't try and make it work like you know so I don't know y'all it's complicated i might make a little separate video just on my shit going on because it's hilarious like my life is so hilarious like i love it i love the drama it's so fucking funny so why are we seeing a movie yeah, like hilarious so hilarious but like i don't know i just don't think it will work out like i just hope we just we we keep it like this and we're just gonna be friends friends right anyway you already know guys i'm um, like comment subscribe i'll keep you updated on the team And yeah, not much else to say.